Today? Oh, it's the day. It's the day I stop being a dumpster fire. The day I stop being a disappointment. Today, we get our first win. And we shut them down because we can. That actually makes me wonder what the record is for how many games it took a rookie goaltender to get their first win. We might have said it. Just looking at our roster here, we have Michelli, Schmaltz, and Keller. Pretty good first line. And again, I do want to reiterate, we have a lot of talent on this team that is very young. This is a team that can get by in the present, but in the future, we are going to be gross. I feel like we might have an injury because the defense looks a little bit different. I guess I can go to Scratched and see. Yeah, Sergachev. There you go. That'll do it. Belomaki is also currently out. In net, the 17-year-old Tino Manny backed up by Connor Ingram. So let's be real. We are the backup far and away. His stats are significantly better. If Zegris even gets the idea to try a Michigan on me, it's going to be lights out. 30th in the league versus 32nd in the league. Going to be a lot of eyes on this one. Everybody wants to know who comes out on top. Let's get after it here. Can we at least have a tie game going into the third? I don't think that's too much to ask for. First period... That is great. Second period. Ooh, we're down by one, but it's possible. They also only had 23 shots. Not a great save percentage, but apparently they have zero. That is something I'm just noticing right now. Nice low shot. Good save. Michelli's all over it. Go help him. Send in the backup. That could have been nasty. Let's see if we can get our first shot here. Troy Terry goes for one, but the defense are all over it, blocking him out. And we get a nice little breakout going. Might have practiced that once or twice by the looks of it. Toe drag release. We are currently one and one when it comes to Tillies. I'm trying to remember who we lost to, but I guess technically they would have the belt right now. Let's go, Logan. Let's go. I feel like his hair is like too red. Based on his headshot and the times that I've seen him, doesn't look like that. Could be wrong. Oh, there we go. The shots have been updated. It just took a little bit of time. No, I'm not going to go for it. I'll let you have it. I'll stop being such a non-netminding netminder. If you are a goaltender, tend the goal. I've already learned that lesson the hard way. So I'm going to smarten up at least for the next little bit, you know? We got to let that one subside before we start going and doing crazy things again. Clearly offside. Trevor egress. Lay in the body. This guy's added a whole new dimension to his game. Troy Terry trying to get fancy with it. Doesn't pay off. And here goes the Utah Hockey Club back the other way. Not going to do anything with that either. So we're basically the same as them. Slap shot will be directed aside by the blocker. Now there's a battle in the corner. Come on. Let's win that. Or not. That works too. Back to the point. I do not like point shots. Chilling. Clayton, I had no idea that that was in your inventory. Holy crap. This guy leaned into that. How'd the stick not snap is my question. What are they making these things out of these days? Beautiful pass. Weird cut in the... Look at the windup, too. What an absolute menace to society. I don't want to alarm anybody, especially not myself. But it is a tie game. And we're almost done here. Not particularly a fan of overtime. Certainly not a fan of shootouts. He went for the tip. You absolute goober. Number 21. How dare you try to tip a puck on me? Score again, Clayton. Do it. Actually, just do it. Who says no? That's a good shot. Terry going to get knocked off the puck by Michelli. And he kind of killed his own momentum there. I feel like we had a three on two. Could have done something cool there. But alas, it was not meant to be. That was a weird little plinko shift off of our defender. Yes, there we go. What a save with the blocker. I really do have to start going butterfly more. Gotta stop standing up so much. When it's in our zone, kind of just go like this. And yeah, they might snipe on us up high once or twice. Especially with our overall. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. That could have been it. That could have been it. Clean draw win. Point to point. A tip. That was a picture perfect play. Holy crap. Their goaltender, Lucas Dostal, is the only reason that we are not currently winning. Another save. No. I guess I should have like slid backwards more. I don't really know. I tried 
and it just wasn't going to happen. It is what it is. Say la vie. We let up one now in this third, and it came at a devastating time. Am I going to get called to the bench is the cue of the day, and the answer appears to be no. Mason McTavish going to get stopped. I think that got through. Go. Go! Big save. We are still not getting called to the bench for whatever reason, so maybe that is not fixed. Here come the Anaheim Ducks. You might get one more shot, at least. McTavish. I can't even be upset about that one. That is a snipe. It's alright. We still got two games. Still got two. Can you please show your work? I'm trying to figure out how a C- a C+, and a C somehow equates to a D+. I'll wait. The boys are actually inviting me to go see a movie right now. That's that's a team right there. I thought for sure I was going to be isolated, put off on an island like, bro, this guy reeks. I was hoping this would be a positive chat. We needed those wins. I know, coach. I'm sorry. That sounded about as sincere as the Kevin from Home Alone apology. <laughs> yes, I have the option for persuasion. Didn't work. Actually, I withdraw that. It did work because we didn't have to make a promise. So even though it went red and he was like, I'm not buying it. It did its job. Gonna throw me in there to Nate Dog, Miko Rantanen, Gabe Landeskog, Kale McCarr, if you will. I don't imagine this one going in our favor, but we're still gonna sim it and see where we sit. Maybe they have injuries. You never know. First period, 1-0. Not bad. And it was Miles Wood. 2-0? Yeah, why not? We did have a challenge to allow four goals over the next two games, and we allowed six in the last one. So I don't know why they didn't just already scold us and say you failed because it's not like I can get minus goals. And plus, we already have two in this game as well. They fooled me for a second there. Kale McCarr gets leveled. Michelli has kind of been a force out there, I feel like. And great job by Dursey stopping Nate Mack from getting a breakaway because I am confident that would not have ended well. I guess I really should start taking the player that's going to be shooting and leaving the pass up to the defender. That's what I'm supposed to do, I believe anyway. Could be totally wrong on that. Nice save, Georgiev. At least don't, like, no, no goose eggs here. Casey Middlestat with the purple ability, whatever that means. Nice pass and another good attempt. I appreciate you, Georgiev. You didn't have to pass that out and you did it anyway. That's called initiative and for that, I will not fight you. Oh, go Marino. End to end, pretty much. And then it just results in him giving up a breakaway. All right. Flying poke check. Get out of here with that. Boom. I'm pretty sure we're undefeated with the flying poke check right now. It almost feels more effective in this game. Like, the players kind of freeze up once they see you doing that and they panic. Like, I don't know what to do here. Oh, they do still have the anticipation thing. That is news to me. I mean, yeah, I don't know why they would get rid of it. Keller behind the net goes back to the point. He's also going to get dropped, and he appears to be getting up pretty slow, but we scored. Nick Schmaltz cuts the lead in half. You took one for a good cause, Clayton. And he's still out there. Great. So, not injured. Love to see it. And now we are only down by one. That is also depending on me not getting scored on. That is a, a big if. Nice hit, Clayton. I like it. They awakened, awoke. Something within him. And now we have a two-on-one. Miles Wood goes for the pass, but the defender's all over it. Where is this thing? To the corner it goes. Miles Wood has one goal in this game already. And he is looking for two. Nope. He was actually looking for an assist. Nice effort, twos. Great effort. Okay. Let it sing. And you let it sing just a little bit too wide. Saving a Nate Mack shot? I think we need to keep that puck. That's going in the trophy case. And we save a point shot. So, you know what? Even though we aren't... Why did you shoot on that side of the net? I'm just asking. For a friend. What's our guy fuming about? They just have these little cutscenes? Because of, I don't know, missed calls or something? Or is it just for... The atmosphere. 234 remaining on the clock, and we get a draw win back. That was a great chance, but Georgiev, man, come on. Let us tie this up. Skate, young man. Marino, he dishes it off, and it is going to be nothing. It says we have an empty net. I don't know why they didn't just do it at the whistle. Oh, skate, 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 skate. Skate, you're so slow. 
get off of the ice. All right, now we're chilling. That would have been on us if we were on the ice, I think. I'm pretty sure they're... Clayton Keller is on one. So I just changed the bench camera and the penalty box camera. And we're still getting this. Not too sure about that one, coach. Okay, can we score a goal here? No, Nachushkin coming back the other way. Goes cross ice. That was a selfless play. What's this guy fuming about? I was on the bench. You know what I'm interested to see is how many goals Austin Matthews has now because he had more than a goal a game last time we checked. So he's probably at like 87 already. And we are maybe a third of the way through the year. No, yes, <laughs> that pass was unbelievable. But Nate just slightly jumped the gun. Cause what I was actually just about to say is pending me not getting scored on, I was on the bench for that empty netter. Obviously I am the goaltender, get dropped middle stat. Save percentage should be pretty decent this game, if nothing else. Are you kidding me? I went past it because I was like, there's no way. If we weren't the third star, we're not a star. We actually were the second star of the game. We had a 925 save percentage that game. James was just saying, you know, this isn't on the goaltender. They actually just started Ingram in back-to-back -back nights. So that's what they think of me. And you know what? That is justified. Calgary Flames, our last chance. They are 30th. We're 29th. Let's make it happen. This has to be the win. It must be. First period. Nope. Second period. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, we have had to come back in the third period every single game so far. And how's that for a start? Little point shot, sneaks by the goaltender, Dustin Wolf, and we are all knotted up. Here's Johnny Hubes. He goes for a little... I'm just analyzing here to see what happened and yeah, I guess my positioning was just cheeks. We were tied. That is no longer the case. There you go. Glove save. Get it warmed up a bit. We can get another goal, right guys? Right? Kadri gets past and that will be a blocker save. Yeah, I need to be more square to the shooter. I feel like I'm leaning too much into where the puck is and their stick. I need to be, like, you know, more in line with the actual person. Clayton Keller limping off. That is really not good for us, Sharon Govich. He tried to do the same thing. But this time, we're all over it. That is a bone cruncher. Tried to get fancy, and the defender made him pay. Huberto again. Are you going to let go back in? No, you're going to dish it off this time. I mean, you didn't really have much of a choice because the defender was all over you. There you go. What a save. Square to the shooter, not the puck. Here it is. Clayton Keller just minding his own business, and he gets flattened. Headed to the locker room. That is not ideal for the Utah Hockey Club. Who is this guy like, yeah, good job. You hurt him. You can't be doing that. He did win the draw back there. What a set play for them, and great defense by Sean Dursey. He just stopped them from scoring. Let's do it for Clayton. Let's do it for Clayton. That was a good shot. It is saved. We still got time here. Six minutes left. There it is. We're all tied up again. A nice little low shot from the point, and Michelli is just going to angle his twig in such a way that this puck goes top cheddar. They're going to score again right away, aren't they? I was expecting them to. Go! Go in! Yes! You absolute beast! This guy is a one-man show out there right now. Kraus is an animal. Five and a half to go and how the turntables. We are now up by one. That puts the pressure on this guy. Unless we just go and get another one. I don't have any opposition to that. Jersey goes point to point. You got to get that off sooner, but you know what? Thankfully, your body was in the way. I don't like this. I don't like this. Blake Coleman is not going to do anything because our defender shut it down. Again, Jersey is my guy. I took the shooter, made the save, rebound came out. Would have been an easy tap in for that lad, but no. Sean had other plans in mind, and he said, I'm going to play my position, 
and I'm going to do it well. Good save. Good save. That could have been the nail, but it was not. You guys are not making this easy on me. Why did I not flying poke check? Also, why did I slide eight miles to the left? What am I doing? He did a little toe drag. And I have just bitten harder on that than any goaltender in the history of goaltenders. Yes? No! Come on! I know that I'm not helping us out here, guys. In fact, I'm doing quite the opposite. But if you could just get one more. Save that. And it looks like we might get the final chance here. 15 seconds to go. Kraus is gassed. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Overtime. I am disgusted. I am appalled. I don't have words, and I know you don't want to hear them. All I had to do was flying poke check. Or maybe just not take a hippo-sized bite on a toe drag. Management must absolutely despise me at this point. Oh, never mind. Still gave me props. Breakaway could be good, but I don't know. I'm thinking let's do resiliency for this one. Road to a win continues. Our stats are abysmal, but... I think that next season we are going to do significantly better. At this point, let's just tank and try to get the first overall pick. Can we even see the draft class? Is that something that's possible? I don't think so. I have our training locked in. We have an ability slot, actually. You know what? Oh, we have two. And on top of that, press X. Boom. All or nothing. Just like that. We are currently eighth, aka last, in the Central Division. Has not been a good season. The Toronto Maple Leafs have 62 points, 29 wins in 42 games, a 73.8 point percentage. Logan Cooley has 25 points, he's a dash two. Clayton Keller, 25 points. He's done it in two less games. He's also injured, but it doesn't look like he's out. It's a playable injury. Michelli with 24, and then we've got a trio of 21s. Connor Ingram still doing well, and the backup goaltender getting clearly way too many starts. Jakey O on top with a 912 save percentage, 272, and 20. 22 dubs, but Aiden Hill has one less dub. He has played four more games, but he has a 923, which is very impressive. Kel McCarr starting to slowly crawl up towards Roman Yossi here. Only five points back now, and he has played one more game. How about Roman Yossi's 14 goals? 73 points for Matthews, exactly a goal a game. He's on pace for 82 goals. That is definitely realistic. Marner has 70, Nylander 62, and then the next closest is Nate Mack with 50. Brad with 50 as well. Good job, Bradley. We will continue our road to a win in the next video. What an absolute joke.